is it? What do you see? As you twist it out beneath our feet. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, we are going to take a look at Beta 4 of Nougat on Galaxy S7 Edge and if you are asking why I am getting ahead with the numbers, it's Beta 3 as Samsung said. Basically, Samsung pushed out an urgent update uh, during the Beta 1st for like fixing the uh, issues with the Facebook app like the Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram. They were just crashing and freezing. Instagram is still not fixed but you can still enjoy it with the lesser crashing but i'm counting that as a beta 2 now we got the one which uh, i just uh, lay out of this with beta 3 and this is the beta 4 as per my count so as you can see you can see a lot of changes in the quick settings compared to the beta 3 uh, but you ask no there is nothing let me just show you a screenshot as you can see this is a screenshot of the beta 3 and uh, as you can see i'm using the 4 by 3 over here and it's pretty big now they have made it very small as you can see it cuts out this much size of the actual quick settings as you can see i'm using the same over here and we just show you edit also doesn't lag now 4x3 which is also good thing it doesn't take a much and it's very compressed right now and the thing they have added over here auto brightness button over here as you can see it's still embedded inside over here but it's still okay you don't have to fiddle around many settings you can just tap it auto brightness is over here and they have moved the brightness controller from here to over here as you can see show on top you can just uh, disable that and have your primary quick settings only by the way let me know about the camera quality right now i'm using a iPhone 7 plus and the quality looks pretty good but it doesn't set the exposure as my Nikon camera it's pretty good as you can see if you go over here close all button is back over here down okay so as you can see here are the primary things you can just close all just like that you can open it by right back and there is no contact us button you can just place it but now it's not like a pixel one it's still in a work as you can see go to Samsung members over here you can FAQ error reports so basically they have more uh, like made it easy and uh, as you know with the beta program uh, the samsung members app has been replaced with the uh, samsung beta program which is a kind of nice thing and they do get like in consideration because many people ask for the auto brightness and they have been added so let me show you what suggestions i kept the first one was like the passives kind of like the j prime series you can just tap it and it unlocks which would be very good and many people ask for it so i guess they will be adding it would be very good to see that and also power saving features from the j prime series they, that are very good like call diverting will be very awesome thing to have as you can see thank you for your suggestion we will work on it which is a good thing they do reply your uh, feedback or something and um, i'm noticing much less lag over here and they have provided samsung notes and now it was uh, like available in the galaxy apps but they have uh, like added over here and let me show you as you can see i can't uninstall it it's a system map as you can see you can't even disable that normally the samsung notes which you do get with the note 7 which is now ripped okay so <laughs> i guess they have uh, provided okay so you can import it this is never seen by me start the ui is bit better much polished which is a good thing go back now if you hop onto the settings this looks much smaller and they have also fixed the historic now you can tap it now you don't have to expand it over here you can just tap your uh, thing and go on if you go to the settings lock screen and security samsung pass has been added over here so basically they ha are making the system biometric no passwords at all there are some bugs still they will be fixing and it's much polished now the device feels much smoother and also now it scores around 134k in and to do which is a good thing as you can see use your fingerprint to verify your identity good i don't know whether this will be system wide like using any of your passwords with your biometric which would be very good okay so here are some supported apps over here let's just go over here okay no apps right now you can enjoy the supported apps easily by security but where are the supported apps no apps and i have pretty much installed everything like whatsapp facebook and it's showing me no apps web sign in info that was present with the extensions there's nothing new over here fingerprints delete data samsung bus enable fingerprint scanner you use your samsung bus i know that and that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys hope you like it please drop a like if you found this video helpful and peace